Hi guys, welcome to my video. This is going to be a simple, flawless, beginner's makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoy. We're going to get right into it. Here I'm moisturising with good old cocoa butter. I then go on to use my foundation, which is the e.l.f. liquid foundation in the shade Cocoa. I'm just blending it in with my Real Techniques foundation brush. As you can see, this is a very good match for my skin tone and I'm just blending it in. I did my eyebrows off camera. If you want to see an eyebrow tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going on to my highlighting. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. Now I'm just going to highlight my forehead, my beacon of light, which God provided me with, which enabled me to shine a light on all my enemies, blind haters. <laughs> and I'm going on to highlight down the centre of my nose and under my eyes and the top of my lid. And I'm not going to do a nose contour in this video, as it's going to be a very basic beginner's look. So that's why I'm just highlighting down the middle of the nose and putting quite a lot of highlighter on underneath my eyes and on my top lip. I am now adding a second concealer, which is the Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Yellow. I'm now going to blend in my concealer with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Fixing Mist. Now I'm just going to blend it in with the Beauty Sponge and just blend in under my eyes along the bridge of my nose, top of my lip and my eyelids. I'm just going to blend it in really well just to make it look as natural and as flawless as possible. see I'm going to go in with my concealer and the beauty sponge and just fade out the front of my eyebrows so it don't look too harsh and too blocky. I'm now going in with my setting powder. Now I'm not going to bake in this tutorial at all as it is going to be a very simple beginner's look so I want it to look as natural as possible so I'm going in with my elf powder in the shade yellow and I've also mixed it with my Revolution Banana Powder because the elf powder is a bit too yellow by itself. So I'm going to go under my eyes and on my top lip, on down the of my nose and on my beacon forehead just, just to literally set the concealer and not to highlight or anything like that. It's literally just to set the concealer to stop it from creasing. Here, I'm just going to tight line my top waterline and my bottom waterline, and I'm using my Rimmel Cold Pencil in the shade Black. I'm not going to do a dramatic eye in this tutorial at all, so no winged eyeliner and no lashes, can you believe? So I'm literally going to keep it as simple as possible. So just to add a bit of definition to my eyes, I decided just to... Um, tight line the top and bottom water lines. Now I'm going in with my favourite mascara, my Maybelline Balsas Mascara. Now this mascara for me is just perfect because the wand is just like a comb so it literally captures every single lash and as I'm not going to be wearing eyelashes 
I needed the mascara that would give me quite a lot of definition without clumping and this mascara just does it hands down for me every time. I'm now just going to blend everything out with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep and I'm just literally just going over my face just to blend everything in. That I choose coming out now. The makeup's on. I can choose out. Boy. <laughs> Next step now is going to be contour. Contour, contour, contour. I'm using my Constantly Contour Palette and the shade is dark. Now I'm just going to go on my cheekbones, and as you can see, I've got quite a long face shape. So for me, when I'm contouring, I don't like to go too, too far down my cheek as it can elongate the shape of my face. So I just go right underneath my cheekbones and then I go around on, on my forehead, obviously, to conceal the beacon. And I like to go around the perimeter of my face as well as that helps to slightly widen out my face without making it look any longer. Now I'm just going to go in with my MAC Cream Light Skin Finish and Dark Deep again just to warm up the contour as sometimes it can be a bit too cold on my um, skin tone so this just helps to warm it up and to make it look a bit more flawless and a bit more natural in this simple mix. Attitudes out again. Now's the best bit the blush. I'm going with my sleep blush and the shade is flushed. Stab it on the apples of my cheeks and we will be good to go. Now I'm just going to highlight a tiny bit on the center of my nose and just down the bridge of my nose. I'm using um, the middle highlighter out of my shade, out of my sorry, sleek contour kit in dark. Just blend it in there, blend it in as you do. Attitudes out again. And Vogue. Now I'm just going to um, use that same highlighter just on my cheeks. Just add a tiny bit of glow, but I don't want to be too, too, too dramatic as. It is a very natural beginner's makeup tutorial. At this point, I am just going in with a bit of Max Gold Deposit, just to add a bit more shine. Now it's lip time. Lip time. I'm just going to line my lips with my favourite, 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 favourite lip pencil. It's a Barry M lip pencil in the shade Chocolate. And any future lip combo you see me use, 99% sure I'll be using this lip pencil as I feel it just blends in with my skin tone really well and um. Provides a perfect contour for my lips without being too cold or too warm. I think it's definitely the perfect lip contour colour for me personally. I'm going with my favourite nude lipstick. This is the Barry M Matte Liquid Lip Paint in the shade On The Scene. I'm just going to blend it in. 
and as you can see it's creating a really nice ombre lip colour paired with the chocolate lip liner. I'm just going to add a bit more of the lip pencil just to contour my lips a tiny bit more just to define the shape. Now I'm going in with a, this is actually a lip pencil that I got out of a Revolution lip kit and the colour is Serenity. So it's a lip um, pencil colour but I've used it as a highlighter just for top of my lip. Yes honey, yes, yes. Just going back in my, the, what's left on my brush of the MAC Mini Light Skin Finish and Dark Deep and just blending in everything. Attitude is back! I'm back! I'm literally just going on for a tiny bit of MAC Mini Lights in Gold Deposit. Again, yes, I know, again, I'm extra, but that's me. Blend it out, blend it girl, blend it. Now, now it's time to set my makeup and I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Fixing Mist. Now this is one of my favorite high street slash drugstore um, setting sprays. Now with this setting spray, you really have to shake it well. It's just got a sediment at the bottom. So if you don't shake it, it can leave white um, residue on your makeup, which um, nobody really wants. Now as you can see, I've drowned my face in setting spray, I've drowned the haters in setting spray of course. <laughs> the real class in me would use a fan or something a bit more appropriate to dry the um, setting spray but ain't nobody got time for that on their everyday makeup tutorial so I just use it as closest to me and that's a piece of paper. So don't judge me please. <laughs> now that is the end of my makeup tutorial and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. That was my everyday flawless simple beginners makeup routine. Thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe lots of love rainy ray Bye.